As pointed out in a recent video, the most annoying part of a Road to Glory career mode is when young players from the top flight are unwilling to relocate to your lower division club, even when using loose negotiation settings. But I have found over 40 players with a good potential who are willing to drop to League 1 or League 2. First up, we have Urkip from Kasseri Spall, left midfielder, potential of 79. Finley Burns from Swansea, centre back, 79 potential, price of around 800k. Heidi Camera from Guancomp, he's a centre back, potential of 79, a price of around 1.2 million. Ricky J. Jones from Peterborough, striker, 79 potential, and a price of around 1.2 million. Carl Rushworth is a goalkeeper from Walsall, 20 years of age, potential of 79, a price of around 1.5 million. One of my personal favourites is Noah Oyo from Austria Vienna. He's a striker with a potential of 79 and should cost around 1.5 million. Vicente Pizarro from Colo Colo. He's a central defensive midfielder, potential of 79 and should cost around 1.5 million. Ilkan from Baziktas, he's a central midfielder, 17 years of age, a potential of 79 and should cost around 1.5 million. Pablo Rodriguez is a striker from Leche, 19 years of age, potential of 79 and a price of around 1.8 million. Daniel Luna from Deportivo Cali is a central attacking midfielder, 18 years of age, potential of 79 and should cost around 1.8 million. Fabian Greilinger from 1860 Munich is a left midfielder with a potential of 79 and should cost around 1.8 million. Matthias Braunohner from Austria Vienna is a central midfielder, 19 years of age, potential of 79 and a price of around 1.8 million. William Boving from FC Copenhagen is a left midfielder with a potential of 79 and a price of around 2.2 million. Joji Kimpanu is a right midfielder or right winger, 20 years of age, potential of 79 and should cost around 2.2 million. Marco Tilio from Melbourne City is a left midfielder with a potential of 79 and should cost just over 2 million. Jack Radoni from Wimbledon is a central attacking midfielder with a potential of 79 and should cost around 2.2 million. Another of my personal favourites is Mohamed Diamande from Nordisland. He's a central midfielder with a potential of 79 and should cost just over 2 million. Nathan Ward from Middlesbrough, he's a centre back with a potential of 80 and a price of around 1.2 million. Renzo Sanchez from Club Nacional, he's a right winger with a potential of 80 and a price of just over 1 million. Carl Hein is a goalkeeper from Reading with a potential of 80 and a price of around 1.5 million. Karamoko Dembele from Celtic, he's a right winger with a potential of 80 and should cost around 1.7 million. Eren Dinci from Werder Bremen, he's a right winger with a potential of 80 and should cost around 2 million. Another of my personal favourites is Yong Sang Bin from Grasshopper Zurich, he's a striker with a potential of 80 and should cost around 2 million. Tino Anjurin is a central attacking midfielder from Huddersfield. He has a potential of 80 and should cost around 2 million. Another of my personal favourites is Ruslan Nesherik from Dynamo Kiev. He's a goalkeeper with a potential of 80 and a price of around 2 million. Johan Cruz from Colo Colo. He's a central attacking midfielder, 18 years of age, with a potential of 80 and a price of around 2 million. Quite possibly my favourite non real face centre back in FIFA 22 is Brian Oko from RB Salzburg. He's got a potential of 80 and should cost around 2.2 million. Arvin Appier from Almeria. He's a right midfielder with a potential of 80 and should cost around 2.2 million. German Valera from Real Sociedad B, he's a wide midfielder with a potential of 80 and should cost around 2.2 million. Dauda Guindo from RB Salzburg, he's a left back with a potential of 80 and a price of around 2.2 million. Daniel Jebison is a striker from Sheffield United with a potential of 80 and should cost around 2.2 million. Alexi Pitu from Feral Constanta, he's a winger with a potential of 80 and a price of around 2.2 million. Jean Aramburu from Deportivo La Guada, he's a right back with a potential of 80 and should cost around 2.2 million. Bena Torrientes from Real Sociedad B, he's a central midfielder with a potential of 80 and should cost just over 2 million. Ennis Destan from Trabzonspor, he's a striker with a potential of 80 and should cost around 2.2 million. 
João Grimaldo from Club Sporting Cristal. He's a central attacking midfielder with a potential of 81 and should cost around 1.2 million. Bartok Elmas from Galatasaray. He's a central defensive midfielder with a potential of 81 and should cost around 1.2 million. Rene Rivers from Caracas. He's a left back with a potential of 81 and should cost around 1.5 million. Another of my personal favourites is Georgios Kutsias from Payok. He's a striker with the potential of 81 and should cost just under 2 million. Lorenzo Parola from Monza. He's a centre back with the potential of 81 and again should cost just under 2 million. Rores Ili from Rapid. He's a central attacking midfielder with the potential of 81 and his price is around 1.8 million. Jay Stansfield from Fulham, he's a striker with a potential of 82 and should cost around 1.6 million. One of my favourite non-real face strikers in FIFA 22 is David Datro Fafana from Malba. He's got a potential of 82 and should cost under 2 million. The penultimate player on today's video is Samuel Vignato from Monza. He's a centre forward with a potential of 83 and should cost just under 2 million. And finally, a young player who's just made his full international debut for Italy, Wilfried Gonto from Zurich. He's got a potential of 83 and should cost just under 2 million. So if you are about to embark on a road to glory career mode, these are the players to look out for who will drop to League 1 or League 2. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to tune in next time, but until then, it's FCG out.